Hey, I'm Rana. I'm an educator at the North Carolina Aquarium on Roanoke Island, and this is an activity in our Tides They Are a Changing series. We're going to confirm the phases of the moon. What you're going to need is a dark place that you can work in, whether it's at night in your bedroom or if you have an interior bathroom or something like that, but you want your room as dark as possible. You're also going to need a, a little bit of a ball. You can use a styrofoam ball, you can use a softball, and you're also going to need a flashlight for this to work. Right? So you're going to pretend that your head is the earth and where your nose is is the place you are on earth. The sun is going to be a flashlight, right? and this ball is going to be the moon. Now for these to be relative sizes, to keep these relative sizes correctly and the distances correctly, that sun is going to have to be as big as a baseball diamond about two miles away. This moon is going to have to be 30 feet away from your nose. I doubt your arm is that long, so we'll just kind of work with this kind of space as we've got. Right? So what you're going to do is confirm that when you have the moon between you, your nose, and the sun, the flashlight, that you see the dark side of the moon. This would create a high tide wherever your moon is. If the moon covers up your nose, you've got yourself a solar eclipse. Now when the moon is on the other side of the earth from the sun, and here's your nose, what you're going to see is a full moon. We will also have a high tide when our nose is pointing toward the moon or when it's pointing away from the moon. This would create that high tide. And when you're in the shadow of your earth, you're going to have a lunar eclipse. Now when the moon is going to be uh, on the side so the sun is that way and the moon is this way, we won't have as high tides or as low tides on our place on the nose, on our earth. So that's it for this activity in our Tides They Are a Changing series. I hope you learned about the phases of the moon and I hope you'll tell somebody about what you learned today. See you next time.